building. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit slow. Yeah, how is the how's the Minecraft gameplay? Is it is it like kind of jerky? Right now, it should be a bit more jerky than normal. Last time I had somebody help me out, they were saying it was actually really really fast, which surprised me because it's kind of slow for me. It is jerky. Okay. I thought so. It was really smooth before. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, this is jerky just so I can try and see, um, get a lay of the land a little more. This will probably make it even more jerky, but... I want to see what I have to work with. I was wandering around this server, uh, it's a subscriber server for a different Twitch channel, uh, to try and find a good spot to do the city construction challenge, which is sort of like this tier progression uh, through like wood age to stone age. Obviously, I have stone stuff right now, so I'm gonna have to check this all and start try to start new. But I wanted to find a good place to start out, and not die while trying to find that place. So I think this is the place. Um, it looks a little different. You'll notice like purple trees and stuff. That's from uh, this is the biomes of Plenty mod. We're playing FTB Unleashed on this. It's a mod pack, pretty new mod pack. Um, not too tough in my opinion. It doesn't have Greg Tech, which makes a bunch of very complicated. It makes recipes more complicated for some machines. <laughs> yeah, I really like this. Uh, I think it's a lot flatter than the area. So, okay. so I think we'll do this. I'll turn my rendered instance spec down. I'm using a laptop, so obviously that's my first problem. If I really wanted to be serious about streaming, I would. <laughs> Delicious purple trees. If I was serious about streaming, I'd try to get a desktop or something, but I'm very noobish when it comes to um, Albert buying, uh, building your own computers. I'm not an expert at all. So I'm gonna put my stuff back in my house. Is that a, is that a wall? Or is it? Oh no, it's not. Uh, no. <laughs> Well, a lot of people know about it, and like, I was in IT classes for um, about a year at a vocational school while I was in high school, but there's a point at which I think all the numbers just kind of blur together, so like the GeForce, NVIDIA cards, the AD AMD stuff, it all seems to me to reach a point of diminishing returns in general. And I, I don't know what the, what's just a good baseline. That's why I end up trying to find just a good deal at someone else's house. But obviously, that's, <laughs> that's where I get ripped off. If I don't build my own tower or whatever. But, <laughs> at the price I pay for laptops in the first place, I could probably buy a really nice desktop. When I have looked at like the prices, even if I just invested $600 in building a PC, that today does a pretty dang good job, especially if you can upgrade it more over time versus a laptop. I bought this one for 500 and I come from the experience of having bought Alienware, so it's like $2,400 just for that. I don't know if you are if you use a different currency system or not, but that's a pretty good price. It's not that bad. I mean, if you put, if I put $200 toward a graphics card, and then just sort of invested in upgradable memory slots, then I could sort of prolong it over time. Anything more than four gigabytes. I've had four gigabytes on a couple of laptops. Alienware is super expensive. I've bought two over time just because I was a teenager and was like, ah, I want a gaming room, I want to do that stuff. And obviously we went to what said they're good for that, and they're total ripoffs, and both of them are bricked at this point. They're just big, huge bookings. I paid probably $5,000 total over about 10 years for two of them. It's very sad, really. <laughs> the amount of money I could have put on my desktop for 10,000 bucks. Okay, so I'm gonna put my stuff back. Uh, this mod adds a space click. Space click? Yeah, space clicking thing like that. Let's, oh, I need to open up and read the city construction rules. Yeah, this is a bed sheet, by the way. <laughs> like, I try to have a good green screen thing going on, but the most I was able to get out of it uh, looks like this when I try to do a green screen. Um, <laughs> it starts doing this when I try to fiddle with it more. I 
way to get this blurriness. Yeah, it does look pretty pure white, which is nice, but if I could get rid of some of this stuff, then it would be more professional, I guess. Half my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, it's got these three sliders for um, similarity blend and spill reduction. To put it at 100, it goes like around kind of the worst. If I kind of go 75, 65. Yeah, it gets close, but then of course, like, <laughs> because it's looking for colors similar to the color white, like the bed sheet, I'm in front of a lamp, so it's like my head starts the <laughs> coaster. <laughs> I don't know, how annoying is all this stuff? Is it, is it more annoying than having just this? To me, this is a bit more stable. It's, Minecraft is not that much in the way, because um, I know this is not more of my toolbar. It's distracting, but not that annoying. This, this is. It also makes my shirt. No, it's not. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because obviously you use a green screen because uh, the color isn't that bad. I could just whistle these songs all day long. I love them way too much. Yes! That's what I had to get working. Uh, another thing to try and get you to come in with. Do you have an account? Um, this, this Twitch IRC mod thing, I've seen a couple of other people that watch these. <laughs> no, I, there is, there are multiple people. This is a subscriber server for, um, yeah, if I was in Twitch I would post the link. But uh, if you type exclamation mark nearby, yeah, exclamation mark nearby, then it'll go to the stream for the guy whose uh, server I'm on. It's a paid server though, if you subscribe to his channel, if you like like his content and stuff. He wants people to do it more for his content than he does for um, the server, and there's kind of an issue trying to balance that out, because a lot of people just want the server instead of the content, and he doesn't really want that, because he's trying to make a living off of the content, not the server, obviously. But yes, five bucks a, five bucks a month to subscribe to him, you support him. I sub to him instead of other people because he lives uh, about two hours from me. He's pretty cool. Because he's very high quality and everything, then he says he's from somewhere so close to me. I was like, whoa, that's... Haha. <laughs> How about them tornadoes here in Oklahoma? Alright, here's what I gotta do. <laughs> yeah, I like to support more people, but I kind of only want to do one person until I can have my own income, which is the university, so I don't have that. I'm busting enough money in university as it is. Okay, so, the city construction challenge. This is actually something you can do in vanilla Minecraft, as far as I know. Um, city construction challenge. Your travels have not gone entirely as expected. You have been too generous with rations at the start of the journey, and so you have not distanced yourself from the old world as far as you hoped. Thankfully, the area you have arrived at is fair, better than the old world, if nothing else. I think they're referring to, like, um, easier modes of difficulty on the challenges. And crops can possibly grow here, but the yield will be small, unless you make the necessary countermeasures. Also, the tall grass found naturally yields no seed suitable for farming. The prosperous life is certainly achievable, but it will be difficult to obtain. Your challenge is to create a city, progressing through the stages one by one, reaching the next stage once all of the requirements are met. Uh, during the challenge, there are some guidelines to be followed for the best experience. Some should be followed throughout the challenge, others only to certain stages. I'm going to try hard mode, because the rest of uh, the streamer I was watching... Um, Age of Empires Craft. <laughs> I'm going to try and put... I just realized I could do this. If I make iTunes a mini player, like this. I'm 
iTunes. There might be good actually. Um, put it right there. I don't know how to do this. Here. Pardon me for one moment. I should have sorted this out a little earlier. This way you can just see the title of the music I'm playing is my goal. Um, and then I can try and get it to be both the feel like it. Yes, there we go. bottom of the screen, move it to the right of the screen. And that's as we can How's that? Those parts don't show up properly, do they? What makes you say that? some knowledge of how to arrange stuff. That's why I never really wanted to do web design or anything, because I, to me it felt a little too simple to just move stuff around on a page. Right, we're going to look at the, the actual... Guidelines for hard. For safety reasons, you must be wearing a helmet of some kind before going underground to protect your head. Any kind of helmet is acceptable. You must leave the mine. Leave the mine if your helmet breaks and you do not have a spare to equip. I'd show this, but uh, last time I tried to show it for some reason it broke. Let's see if I can do it this time now. No, okay, I'll just do it. Okay, so I have to wear a helmet if I'm gonna go mining. I have to leave my mine when my helmet breaks, and I do not have a spare helmet. Mine shafts have to be at least 3x3 three three areas and have support beams at least every 10 blocks. Oh, they're trying to be really realistic with this then. Wooden pillars or otherwise. At least every 10 blocks you need a pillar of some sort in your shaft. It's got to be a 3x3 three by three by three wide area, except in naturally generated caves, because they already support themselves, so you definitely would prefer to go cave mining. Um, raw food and zombie flesh do not count towards item requirements, but you can still eat them. Wow. We have a trick on F2B Unleashed where you can turn zombie flesh, uh, if you use a machine called an induction smelter, which obviously I wouldn't be able to use because of technology, turn zombie flesh into leather if you add sugar to it, which is pretty cool. I learned about that the other day. Mine shafts can be at least, uh, and if you have to go to sleep at any point, June, feel free to say so, you're not, all that stuff again. Uh, raw food, zombie flesh, building requirements will be in different districts or towns, and the requirements must be built in but are not limited to the specific di district. So the districts we have we're going to have a farming district eventually as we work our way up. A farming district, a mining district, a market district, an upper district. Okay, so it's like, um, it's kind of like Civilization V, I think. 
I have barely played that game. Zombie Leather, exactly. Um, I barely played it, but I know that you sort of have a central, you have kind of a capitalish thing that focuses your area around. The farming district is marked by the town hall. The mining district is marked by the mine shaft. The market district is marked by the licensing office. The city hall marks the upper district. Have you seen a bit? Yeah. Yeah, I have a friend who's nuts into it, but uh, I, he asks us to play it every time we go over and I'm like, I, you know, I'm, RTS is turn-based, turn not RTS, but not my, I'm, I'm more of a Zelda action game or puzzle game, but I can't do a strategy game very easily. It's tough for me to be serious about strategy games. I always try to um, screw around with other people. That's what I do. Um, Upper District City Hall. The port, I guess it's like a ship part, yeah, is marked by the Harbor Master's office. So a bunch of different building stuff is basically what this is about. It's about building, uh, giving you sort of motivations to build in different ways. Um, the King and Queen's District is marked by the castle for pal- oh, I'll have to make a castle or palace. That'll be intense. I do not have extreme building skills, I will say that. Um, they do not have to be districts, they can be towns or otherwise. Uh, I'd kind of like to keep it all in one place myself. If you find a bucket, you can use it regardless of the stage you are in. I have not found a bucket yet, which sucks. Because uh, I saw somebody try to do the wood age and they found a bucket and they said, if I didn't have a bucket, I'd have to move water in. I'd have to move water into the farms, like, by hand or something. I might have a wood bucket in this mod pack, I'm not sure. I'll have to, I'll have to look at that. Um, bucket, okay, any NPC constructs do not count towards requirements, but you can use anything that you find. Uh, so if you find a furnace, then you can um, smelt stuff in the furnace of the village or whatever, but you can't make a new furnace yourself. Digging it over, yeah! <laughs> uh, Use at least normal difficulty, I'm on normal. The server's on normal. Do not cheat at any point in this challenge. <laughs> you have to say don't cheat, okay. Post your progress on this thread. I don't forget those two. I'm gonna use those. It should be obvious. You do not need to follow the guidelines. They're just there to make it uh, more challenge, more immersive. This is meant to be fun, so if you don't like something, change it. Those are the guidelines. It's no restrictions. You need to accommodate for everyone who plays. So like, somewhere, if you have a thing that says you need to build um, two houses, sometimes it'll say like you need two bedrooms instead of one bed. I've seen that on the guy I watched. Okay. Stage one, foundations. Um, spoiler, I hear them in the night. Restrictions, you may only use wooden tools. Okay, so I can only use wood tools, no stone, you can only create a loose okay. And then my requirements. First I'm gonna go get wood tools and then we'll talk about what the requirements are. Um, I know you have to make like a couple of excuse you. You have to make a couple of um, just regular wooden houses. You gotta make a couple of wooden houses first. Add bedrooms, shelters, and that's what I'll move into. That was just that little hovel was just kind of, I landed on the island, I didn't see anybody else around, but I didn't want to... I just wanted to place the hole up while the night's passing while I try to get on this streaming requirement for uh, equipment set up. So let's punch some trees. Get some grass. What are these? Cotton seeds, okay. I don't know what cotton is. I'm assuming it might... Oh god. I thought that was where we were being hit, so that would have been good slash bad. Yeah, so let's just, we're gonna need to make a farm uh, while we're doing this, I'm pretty sure. What are these? Barley. Okay, so I have regular vanilla seeds, cotton seeds, and barley seeds. Interesting. We'll have to see what the differences are. I wonder if those purple trees give a different wood type. Okay, so let's get cracking on a crafting table real quick. Wood. Um, 
probably go for a stack of wood. And feel free to keep me on in the background right now. You wanna work. Since you are literally the only person here, I'm pretty sure. Since the Twitch app thing, uh, chat shows me if there's people entering the room. But yeah. Four stick. Make two wood axes. Are you Cyrano? Harpier? June? I can't remember if that was you or somebody else I'm thinking of. Because you say hi a lot. That's, that's the only reason why. Two of that's awesome. Only sometimes. I will play everybody sometimes. Um, do you have a... Do you have anything against... The vocals, vocal choruses, because I'm gonna try and play one here in a second to see whether or not that's also an apple somewhere. Yes, it is. Do that. Just to see if they, um, having other people talk in a song is too much for my microphone, since you were saying I was, I had problems with that and everything. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. That's the thing, it's like, I'm gonna play those choruses with the Nico Nico Doga, so obviously it's gonna be Japanese vocals and that'll probably uh, deter some people. Most people I uh, watch stream play some kind of techno. Um, Approaching Nirvana is sort of an indie group that everybody really, really likes, and you hear on most of my guys. They're really good. I would love to get them if I had the money to buy their albums, <laughs> but I don't. So I have this free, essentially freeware music. this Minecraft pretty well, because I'm actually lagging a fair bit with the play, um, which is why if you see me sort of diddle around in a menu or something like that, that's sort of what's going on. I'm trying to go to uh, this thing to the left of me on this map, this little kind of stone thing. That's a, a wisp, it's a wisp spawner for one, which is that glowing ball enemy thing. Some of them are enemies, not all of them. If I start getting zapped, that's what that is. Just be, yeah. They're from the Thalmcraft mod, um, which is a magic mod. So I might be able to get some pretty swish loot out of this if I'm successful. If not, I'm bone. Just need to make it up this mountain. Jeez. Look really tall. Gotta watch my food. Actually, not setting up a shelter yet, which I'm probably gonna regret at some point because I technically won't be able to hide out back in my um, little bunker. Some people do this kind hard to work too. Let's go up inside of this dirt. Oh, this is the vocal of memory. It's a servant of evil. I knew the lyrics, I assume. That's Is my voice annoying out of curiosity? I don't know how it sounds. Oh, there it is. Okay, this thing. I'm gonna start getting the crap shotgun. Ah! I, I sound fine. Awesome. I'm about 
to get the crap chucked out of me. Um, not able to control myself at all. What do we got? Uh, shift click. Oh, uh, it's not a shift click. Ah, it worked. Awesome. Let's take the chest. Take the- Ah! Ow! Ow! Dang it, he saw me. He found me. He found me. Treasure. Yes, I can find- Oh. Don't knock me off. A dangerous idea, but I need that going into it. <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of good stuff, man. Can I ask if I, that whistling is um, in sync or out of out of sync? Or loud or annoying. I'm kinda curious how the whistling comes through. I tend to whistle the songs because I don't know the words and humming. My voice is embarrassingly deep. It was awesome! I have to wait for a good song to come up and I'll whistle again. I whistle a ton. But I don't know anything about musical instruments, but I whistle a ton. This is a spoils bag, I don't know what's in here. I think I'll use this. Thorns? Oh, force mitts. Those are gonna come in handy. Apples! Sweet! I don't know if thorns are good for it, but force mitts are really good. You hum a lot. They just, um, number one, they blow up leaves like that. <laughs> They're very quick um, for using, for taking out a bunch of very early materials. Ferb, how's it going? How's it going, Ferb? I didn't expect someone else to come in, me and my friend. <laughs> yes, they are. They are the bear claws. I'm doing alright. I'm sort of, uh, sort of hiding from university work since we've kind of had a longer weekend to do Labor Day. Ooh, I can grow. It is a different kind of wood, too. I'm trying to do the city construction challenge, like it says across the top. <laughs> yes, I'm like E.T. Uh, E.T. Giggles from another stream, June. We're both university students. I don't know how she's going to be able to do um, her streaming stuff. My main idea is just to use these to take out a ton of trees. I'm gonna do the city construction challenge, which means I need to make um, wooden houses and all that. I'm not sure if I just want to patch myself in to the side of like the dirt hollow because it's getting dark already. But these things just decimate trees. I don't know anything. They're from Darkcraft. I have been, I know very very little. This is the first time I've been able to play since watching nearby and all those guys play on so much. Oh, uh, I don't know. Can I keep away bad guys for long enough to build a wood house? There's that stupid wisp honor. I don't think any of them are gonna come this close though. But that one guy zapped a good a bit out of me. You know Honka is streaming in that world too. Honka's on the sub server. I didn't know Honka was on the sub server. I thought he was on just the Nerdcraft, uh, the 48 hour streamer world, whatever. I'm not on that. This is, I mean, literally, I do not stream. Oh, how's it going, Wisp? You look like a good Wisp. Yeah, I guess he is. Yeah, he's on there with ET. Uh, is it the one he's been on since, like, a couple hours ago? Let me test you. Are you a good, are you a good Wisp? Yes, you are a good wisp, aren't you? Hi, wisp. Yeah, okay. Nah, that's not on here then. I'm on the same public uh, sub server for the rest of the nearby nation. Do not. Yeah, you're. You can be my friend. Just don't come too close, or I'll punch you in the face by accident, and then you'll just go to town on me again. And I can't. 
I have no bow and arrow to fight down a wisp right now. <laughs> okay, so it's very dark, so I'm very nervous to try and pull anything funny. I'm just gonna try and... I'm gonna come into this dirt side area. Wisp, if you wanna follow me, feel free. There's a pig who got into my little cave. I had to travel a long way, as you can see by the coordinates being like 2700. Let's just hold ourselves up in here while I read. I'm gonna read the city construction challenge uh, rules. Okay, so there are requirements for the different sections. It's like five different sections on this construction challenge. Sort of motivating you towards what you can build and whatnot. Um, first of all, I have to only use wooden tools. I'm kind of breaking that with the force mitts, but because I found them, I feel like it's okay to use them. This isn't geared towards a mod pack as far as I know, so I'm gonna kind of half cheat because I want to also learn Unleashed at the same time. Kind of fuse the two. I can't use stone collected for any reason. I can only create items. Just not stone tools, it's the most important thing, it's no stone tools. If I found a wooden, uh, an iron bucket, that would be great, but I don't have that, so it's gonna make me from a farm pretty tough. Um, like June said earlier, I have to do digging rivers in some fashion. I have to own two buildings, two dwellings to live in, made from any material allowed, so not stone, and it must be safe to sleep in. You have to have, a dwelling is considered front door, living area, bedroom with at least one bed, and I'm behind a sheet. <laughs> I am in my dorm room, but, I mean, let me show you guys. I have nothing to hide. This is, oh, I'm actually, this, yeah, number one, it is a bed sheet, because <laughs> I don't have a green screen. This is just my normal dorm room. Yeah, this is uh, a little bit right up here. I didn't see ETs. But yeah, I have my normal bed. This thing inside here is just my blue bed. And I have other bed sheets as well. I can either do a warm room in the background, or I can just have uh, I can try to find something to be a green screen so I can uh, put this. It's very clean at least, so it makes it look a little less of a uh, That's kind of what I didn't want to do the kind of the stream that many places has going. <laughs> um, and hopefully, this is a slightly higher quality than that. I can't watch many places that long just because it's not the highest quality of the stream. Okay. Say you share a dorm with ET. No. <laughs> yes, because she's a 12 year old boy <laughs> rooming with a 20 year old guy and me. No, um, I'm I'm just rooming with another uh, dude here. This is the honors dorm here at my university. ET, I don't know where she is. Um, but I'm in Oklahoma. I live very close to nearby, actually. Um, he lives in Tulsa. I'm in Stillwater. We're about two hours apart. If that, we might be an hour apart actually. But I don't want to go to where he lives because I hear all the police, all those police cars in the background. Um, I'm not getting that many mobs out here. I know, right? That's why I wanted to subscribe to him instead of like um, Ponka or not Ponka, but like Wolf Twenty One or Luckland or something, just because he was so local. Oh God, you're. Ah, <laughs> crap! I'm dead. I cannot... I cannot run. It's lagging a bit on my end. The zombie's just gonna follow me around until morning. There's some ICT... IC2 bugs. IC... Uh, industrial bugs. It's hard to play a game and think and talk at the same time. I didn't realize streamers had to put up with that. Come on, bring it. I hate playing Grease Zombies so much. I'm 
lagging way too much. <laughs> Dang it. Is my bed okay? Yes, my bed's okay. Uh, could you be a mod for the chat? Um, right now, I don't need a mod, thankfully. <laughs> I am probably not going to stream more than just tonight, just because tomorrow I'm going to be back to work on university work. Um, spending time. Aw, he's spending time with Jess. Nearby, the admin you see there, he's uh, he's the guy that runs the server, or paid for the server. I don't think he hosts it. He's just doing a server check. Well, that's good of him to come in and check, because obviously with all the other problems he's been having, it makes sense. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, isn't it? I wonder if he's going to stream, because Labor Day. Let's go grab our stuff, do a quick corpse run. Depends on what time I get up. <laughs> uh, can I be a member now? Oh yeah, he needs to get membered. Why did I die here? Oh, I fell underneath this, really? Uh, this is gonna be tough. I don't see any mobs yet, which is a blessing. Achievement rather thorny. Um, okay, so there's water there. Gotta build myself a way out. Do I have any dirt? I do have dirt. Sweet. Okay. So let's get out of here. I'm gonna refresh the loop. I know, I was having problems with that too, but uh, if you were on Honka stream earlier, then like all the chats were very blorked out. Only the people who are on, well, I don't know what ne nearby is talking about. So, I don't know what all is with that. But, hey, it's morning, which is great, because if one mob did that to me, I mean, I really need a house. How packed did we have it today? Can you guys say uh, whether or not the messages I'm sending through the chat are actually going to the Twitch chat as well? Because it says it makes it look like it's going through the Twitch chat too. I'm not sure if that is true or not. Really? Okay. Um, I'm thinking I can control that like this. if it's going to show me the nightbot command or not. But, yeah, awesome. Thank you for showing up, though, Ferb, because, yeah, I knew some people were following me, so I was kind of nervous to just, like, hit start streaming, because I knew MDD did that a bunch last night, and that kind of bugged me, just because he kept flickering back on and off and on and off. Um, and I didn't want to do that to anybody, but... You, know, you go to a lot of uh, streams, because you were in Silverses for a long time last night. Uh, with me and everybody. <laughs> I don't know why Silver's wanted to stay up that way. Too bad he didn't come on tonight. Okay, what am I doing anyway? I'm, I've got about 35 wood. I think that's good. Uh, let's find a place to plop down. I'd like to actually go in that area I was before. I'm just kind of been walking around for a while. Rambling randomly. But, we gotta, we gotta focus. 10 and 18 where I'm at, so hopefully I can at least go to midnight. I don't know if I'll end up staying up late like I have in the past. There's some gravel ores. If I need I wonder if I can pick up gravel ores with this wooden shovel, because then I could technically, technically I could use them at that point. I'm going to build my first house here, I think. Um, I should technically do it by a water source, though. That would be very smart, because I have to make the farm. We'll just build it right by the side of this. This looks like a pretty nice place. Um, 
Nice. You're my friend. Well, at least I'm on Twitch. How come Nerbs chat isn't showing your chat on Twitch? Nerbs chat isn't showing on your chat. Oh, um, that's the mod. Let me go back to all chats. There you go. Now you can see it. Now I'll see them when they say stuff. It's the Twitch. If you look at it, it's called like Twitch IRC. Um, Silverus last night was using Forge IRC, which is a different one. There's one specifically for Twitch that uh, you can just flip back and forth between a server chat and a Twitch chat. Yeah, I know. It's pretty nice. I have to be careful. I don't want to come off too much like a um, Sorogen's personality, just because I don't want to disrespect him any, because he's a really... I really like Sorogen a lot. Um, another smaller streamer. He's actually on nearby server, too, I think. They show, Honka was showing some of the ones earlier. Did you see Honka, like, in the Nexus showing everybody the, who had, like, gotten the place or whatever that nearby put a nameplate up for? Some pretty big names were there. Okay, the farm is there. I'm gonna do the wood corners. Let's go about five wood corners. You can just put it right there. Other players can only do your work here. Consider using a golden shovel to claim this area. Oh, interesting. One, two, three. Let's make five between each pillar. So we can have a pretty nice uh, first dwelling. And then the second dwelling can be crap, for all I care. Because <laughs> I don't really have anybody living in a second dwelling. So. Honka was walking around the 48 hour livestream nerve crap, I don't know what it's called, but that server, that more private server, he went to the Nexus room that nearby made in the Mistcraft world um, with all the portals, and he, there were actually nameplates for everybody who was on the server, I guess. There was, um, okay, I want to see these brief, brief detour, I want to see these create. They do! Oh, that's so cool! It creates this purplish kind of uh, plank. I want to use these for something special. Yeah, there was a bunch of big names. Did you see uh, when he did that? I know, right? I saw Sorgen's name and I was so happy for him just because Sorgen's such a small uh, streamer. Let's face the, we'll face the farm. Haha, <laughs> C3040 died. Guy's a total brownie, too. Um, yeah, but like Wolf21, I was kind of surprised to see him since he's been on his hardcore worlds so much. He must be crossing a chunk boundary or something. Uh, let's turn half these things. I'm so happy we don't have Greg Tech. I tried to do this on a Greg Tech world and just that half, you get like two planks for every wood and it's just like. I'm so happy not to have to deal with that. Unleashed. Uh, we can turn this into a mine, actually. Or not a mine. It's some good building land. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully we won't... Hopefully I won't wreck it by uh, doing some not-so-awesome building uh, skills, because I am, like I was saying to my friend, I am not a silver when it comes to building. I'll, I'll do fences, probably, for, the, for these little areas. I actually have some fences I can go grab. Um... Since I have some wooden stuff in my cave, I'll go grab that. I would like to put a window here or something over time, but uh, we'll have to think about how we want to do that. So for now, we're just going to layer this up. If I can quit lagging. How come you're not in... <laughs> well, Ferb, this is seriously like my first elongated stream I've ever done, period, so... It's very historic, but um, Honka kind of said he doesn't. Nearby doesn't want people to start streaming just to get on that server. He's in general he he has to put up with a lot of people that are trying to get into a lot of stuff he does because he's so popular. Um, like, did you hear whoever it was on the sub server yesterday trying to uh, get into his room on Teamspeak or something like that? That was. 
That was an example of that. I think it was Play Hub or something. And he obviously it's just because because people are young, they don't necessarily think of that. But it's it's just a rough thing that he has to put up with. It's funny when he comes to like Silvers' channel or something and starts venting about it though. <laughs> just because he's like <sighs> done with work. Let me blow off some steam briefly. Talk with friends. It's pretty cool to see him like that. I think I'm just gonna line the top of this with logs. Or no, I guess I should be using stairs. Kind of who do you think it was? Who do I think it was? Oh, I don't... I wasn't for sure. Because there were a couple of people going on. And I i mean, I don't want to gossip. I don't want to point out names. When I think about what I'm doing, I've, it's probably bad of me to be gossiping like that. we got to be nicer than that to people, in my opinion. I, ho I hope to be a good guy streamer if I were ever to arise to that kind of level. Yeah. Got to keep it good. We're a group that uh, if I was ever to gain any kind of following, I would want to lead a follower group that was all about having nothing to hide. No, uh, if we did screw up somewhere, then we would need to, like, own up, you know? That kind of feel. <laughs> Can I be called a good streamer when it's, like, my first stream? I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's a... Uh something I could be called or not at this point, but still, I'm very happy that you would say that. It does seem to be going very smoothly, at least. Even though I'm doing some- <laughs> I'm not doing very entertaining stuff, in my opinion. <laughs> now I can fight with other players. Just because I put a crafting table in? Oh, I don't know what that was about. Okay, let's make a chest or two. If you're already doing a good job. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that very much. It's encouraging. I was about to say, because this would be a fun thing to do, um, just in general, to blow off steam and whatnot. Because I... This chest is not protected. Ah, this golden shovel stuff. It's like, I'm not supposed to get a golden shovel in this city construction challenge for a while, so... It makes me nervous. Someone could just run around, run through here. The, there's a base not that far away from me, maybe about 600 meters, 600,000 meters away from me, where like five other guys on the sub server are um, doing all their stuff. And they invited me there and I went there and I was like, cool, now I'm going to go off and do my own thing because I want to try and do this uh, challenge. Okay, I'm going, uh, I have to build, I need to fix. My goal is not to make a dirt roof before night falls. Definitely a good way to blow off steam. Yeah. Yeah, university is pretty rough for me. I don't know about other people or whatever, but I just have... There's just a lot of stuff that goes on. I'll try not to vent too much about that. Let's just get some of this dirt. <laughs> oh, man. I hate angry zombies so much. I'm so nervous another one's just gonna fly up behind me and be like, how's it going? Now there's, I see two wisps at the bottom of my uh, radar screen there too. Just chilling. Wisps are interesting. Do you know anything about Farmcraft 4, out of curiosity? I heard some people were talking about that um, in Wolfstream. Direwolf actually came into Wolfstream the other other day, like the day that he died <laughs> uh, on his hardcore world after like three weeks, um, and he said something mentioning Thonecraft 4. Oh my god, this brain is slowing my frame right now. It's uh, got a double block place lag on me somewhere. I know, I'm just curious because. Uh, I mean, I know Thongcraft from when I did... I got into Feed the Beast actually through Yogcraft, which is pretty hilarious because nobody nobody uses Yogcraft, but... I don't even think the Yogscast guys use Yogcraft that much. There might be like two series, two serious series that use it. Uh, but then yeah, that, that had Thongcraft on that, I mean, so... I know it from there. I'm just curious, they said, they said, uh... 
the the whole research system in Thumbcraft was going to get an overhaul. Um, which, I mean, that's that's Thumbcraft's, like... That's the main thing you do in Thumbcraft is that research stuff, so... It'd be very interesting to see if that made it more interesting. I wish they would do that with the, uh, the bees. Because the bees can just get so... I, like... That's the one thing I'm curious to try out. I should get nebs to do this with yourselves. It would be very cool to be able to do this with one of them. Um... <laughs> I could be like E.T. before she just got lombarded with uh, people from the nearby raid that happened to, to them. Yeah, if I could, if if I came through and pulled through on my homework, uh, yeah, she she's I I went there right before it happened and she was just like, yeah, my dream is to get raided by nearby or one of those guys, and then like five minutes afterwards, it's just like nearby raid and she's just like exploded. Very cool for her, hopefully. I mean, since she's been able to get on the stream and uh, that server and all, she's pretty damn lucky, if you ask me. And I'll try not to curse or anything. I'll, I'll try to keep the stream PG. Um, I don't have any intention of making it R-rated, but... <laughs> I can't... I can't think. <laughs> it's proving such a challenge just to create this little bit here. Yeah, I know, and it, in general, I don't have a problem with that, but... Uh, did you see, like, Minnie on Silver's channel? I just don't want it to be like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want the bad Minnie kind of person. Minnie's awesome, though. I was kind of worried at first. I thought, near, I thought Minnie was kind of, like, not that popular at first, but then, like, I went to his stream, and he went live, and, like, five other people came in, and I was like, oh, no, he's, he's fine. Which is good. Uh... Part of me just wants to put dirt up there so I can grow a tree or something on it, but I'll try to be a little more professional than that. I've got these eight planks I could use. Make a little doohickey <laughs> with the roof. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very interesting to see the dynamics. Not knowing quite how many and Silvers and Honka... Well, I know how Honka met people through Feed the Beast, but uh, how many exactly got to know everybody and how Silvers came into the picture and everything. They're very unique characters. The more and more I watch them, it's... Just, it's uh, this is... Crafting table. Open. But yeah, it's so cool to get to see, just to get to watch them all. It's interesting to watch over the years how uh, different stuff you come to. How many windows am I trying to make? One, two, three, four, four. So I need three more recipes worth, which is 18 sticks. Yes. Um, 18 sticks. That'll be 20 sticks, and then I can use those for tools. You see today, Bash got hacked. He sent an error, by the way. Seriously? He sent an error. But nearby wasn't streaming today, was he? But, I mean, Bash gets hacked a lot. A surprising lot. He got hacked, um... I was watching Luckland before I actually knew anything about nearby, and... He just stopped being able to stream with Luckland because of that. Because people were just hacking his stuff. Oh, that's a purple wisp. I know that's a bad one. I know that's a bad one. I hear a skeleton. Don't mess with me, bro. Yeah, it was time before that one. Okay. <laughs> I hear you, Wisp. Uh, I hear you, Wisp. I do not have the wood for a door. That's awesome. Uh, I can make one fence gate. can make a fence gate. Where do those sticks go? I, I need this. I need those sticks. Make one fence gate and that will keep out zombies at least. Oh, you 
can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I hear that skeleton moving around, you're making me so nervous. Yes! Okay, cool. That'll keep out zombies. Skeletons can shield shoot through that one, but I can hide, hopefully. Um, I've got that cave door to watch, too, and then the roof. <laughs> I just got this leak in my roof, you know. It, it happens, man. These, these planks aren't very... The hacker was actually in the chat? Seriously? Dude, that's nuts. How did how did he say like I'm the hacker, y'all? You know. That's so Ah oh, man, I, I don't know why it's hilarious. But at the same time that's just awful. Okay, let's plug up the leak. <laughs> I just kinda got this purple ring. At least this way, um the wisp won't be able to fly in through that way. Um I want this rain to let up, because then my FPS will come back a little more. But yeah, um, this is a pretty humble start, I think. I'm actually going to go take a break, so you can, if you want something else to look at briefly, then you feel free to go do that. I'm going to, uh, yes, I mean, it's my first time, I've done, I've tested with OBS before a little bit, I can't see what you're saying, actually, I'm going to pull up my Twitch chat. Um, I mean, I've tried to use OBS just a little bit before to try with the uh, text overlays and getting Minecraft to show up and all that stuff. But then uh, I, re I thought about it and I was like, a face cam is pretty important for most people. They kind of like that engagement. I think it's the thing that they get on top of... Uh... I'm going to have to mute myself very quickly when I come to the stream, otherwise I'll start echoing. So let me hit that first before I talk. But yeah, just in, in general, I think a face cam is the thing that sort of makes it more unique. And I can chat you back. Hola, now I can see you. <sighs> but yeah. Yeah, I, I, this is the first stream I've ever done a face cam, I've ever done a mic, uh, all that stuff. So. Yep. This is me. I am. I am myself. I am. I am. I am me. Hey, dude. <laughs> you were in there the whole time. I was wondering in the back of my mind. I was like, I guess he left. Uh, I guess he just departed. I mean, I've got a little wood shelter now. At least the zombie isn't going to kill me. I hate angry zombies so much just because they run faster and they have a little more health. They're buggers. They're, they're the worst. <laughs> it was very basic. I don't know about awesome, but thank you so much for thinking that at the very least. I'm very glad. I don't know. Maybe I can get on and do something with uh, Sorogen. That might actually be something I'd be really interested in. Uh, just because he uh, he's not as big as nearby number one, <laughs> and he's on uh, he's also on very late. So never know. Maybe I can get something in, either a Skype call with him or something. Modded worlds sound scary. <laughs> I don't think they're that scary. I'm I'm being unfair to myself by doing the city construction challenge. Normally you get a uh, you'll get like iron tools. I mean I had iron tools coming to here, and at that point you're not that that off. If I wasn't lagging, then then I'd be able to sort of fight a little better too. But uh, actually, the thing that makes it easier is um, unhinged. Feed the Beast Unhinged, this is Unleashed. It's a different mod pack, but that one has uh, zombie awareness in it. And I tried playing on uh, Nearby's version of that. He had like Unleashed and Unhinged together. And uh, zombie awareness, like you drop blood whenever you get hit. It's sort of like a two by two of little red sprites. And then like the zombies can smell that and they just spawn and they come into you like a horde. It's way more zombie-like, but it's like, yeah. We can do a honker raid. It'd be great to do a honker raid. Is he still? St yeah, tell me if he's still streaming, and then I'll say let's go do a honker raid. Uh, I don't. I don't have. I don't have a. What would be a raid cry for me though? <laughs> what What would be the thing that we say whenever we raid somebody else's stream? Just try the raid, I guess. Twee raid, twilight raid, ambiguous gender raid. 
I don't have a collective name. I, I had I had Welcome to Karashan because that's something I do with um, when I try to do game design stuff. I'm in university to try and do video game development is my thing. Yeah, Twilight Raid, okay, cool. That would be more sensible, I think. Twilight Raid. So is he streaming? Uh, I can actually chat. I can check myself too. Let's check this. You can do a two-person or a three-person raid. Um, Oh, uh, no, I don't see him on, man. I see Wolf on, and I see Wildstein on. But I don't see Honka. Honka must have gone off. Bro. Which is sad, because it would have been really fun to raid Honka, because he's just the right size of stream to raid. We raid somebody else, and they'll just be like, what, it's a two-person raid? Oh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> Honka's raid would have been like, oh, you know. Dang, did you want to do it? I know, I saw Wolf, I was, that's what I was thinking, just like, we could try to raid Wolf, but it'd be like, just you and me. <laughs> um, Wolf's got 400 viewers, Wildstein has about 200 viewers, but I'd rather watch Wolf than, uh, than, uh, than Wild, um, just because Wolf's, I feel a bit more action-y. Wolf is like, Wolf is like a more excitable, action-y version of Wild. Wild is so mellow and laid back by comparison. Just different moods. Yeah, let's do let's just raid Wolf. Let's just say Twilight Raid. Let's go in there right now. Be like Twilight Raid. Twilight Raid. I guess I have to end my stream, so I'll end my stream. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's just go let's go raid him. See you there, yes. Okay.